Good evening, everyone. It is my pleasure to welcome you all to the Valedictory Assembly for our 2017 matriculants. A special word of welcome to our guest speaker, Suleiman Mamoniat, albeit that this gentleman hardly needs introducing, it will, be, it will nevertheless be my pleasure to do so formally in a few moments from now. I'm grateful to have past parents, students, and associates join us this evening, either as part of the audience or presenting awards. Mr. Lumu, Mr. Hassan, Mr. Kubi, Ms. Imponda, Mr. Pamensky, Ms. Asharovitz, Ms. Pycraft, and Ms. Lewis, thank you for being here in person. It makes the awards presented in your name and their historical context all the more meaningful. This occasion is a very special one for the staff, some of whom have known the matrix from the grade eight days in 2013. Matric is always a stressful year, often with teachers and parents getting more anxious than the learners. And I would like to take this opportunity to thank the educators for their forbearance and dedication. There is a saying that educators are the only people who lose sleep over other people's children. I can safely bet that our educators are sleep deprived at this time of year and will remain so until the matric results are released in January 2018. This is invariably the fate of educators who really care. But we nonetheless remain optimistic that our learners will not disappoint us, as it is still not too late. A little effort and what seems like failure may turn into success. It is effort which matters most. Heartfelt thanks to Ms. Van die Kerk and Mr. Skuman, who have believed in and nurtured this group through some very dark times. May your faith be rewarded. To Ms. Brahma, thank you for your painstaking and inexhaustible approach toward your portfolios as deputy in charge of grade 12 and chief invigilator. It never ceases to amaze me how much of herself Ms. Brahma invests into ensuring that the examinations run like clockwork. I wish you strength for this last lap. This matric group has been blessed to have had a fully functional and dedicated school governing body looking after their interests through the duration of their time here. It may be that learners are not really aware of the significance of the SGB's role, but believe me, if this pillar of the school's functioning collapsed, you would feel the impact. So thank you to the chair of our SGB, Ms. Mayette, the members of our SGB, two of whom, Mr. Juma and Mr. De Vries, are in the audience tonight in more of a personal capacity, celebrating their respective sons having made it thus far. And to all the parents and guardians of our matrix, thank you for your support. You all play a critical role in Greenside's success. And ultimately, to our guests of honor on this occasion, our 2017 matrix. Welcome to your last formal function in this hall in your capacity as Greenside learners. Your grade heads requested that your teachers offer a last bit of guidance and inspiration for you in the form of messages that have been reproduced in your valedictory program. The message I chose is as follows. If you are not willing to learn, no one can help you. If you are determined to thrive, no one can stop you. 
Matrix, I believe that you all have the capacity to thrive, and it is my sincerest wish that you do so, not least with your performance in these final examinations. Our guest speaker is most certainly thriving, and it was evident from our first encounters with Suleiman that he was determined to thrive, and no one was going to stop him. This beautiful person matriculated from Greenside in 2014 with no fewer than eight distinctions in the final NCS exams. He was our head boy and an excellent one at that. Suleiman is studying general science, majoring in philosophy and mathematics at Fitz University. I'm proud to announce that Suleiman has been honored by being awarded membership of the Golden Key Society. The Golden Key is an international honor society and is the world's largest honor society. Being awarded membership connects high achieving individuals locally, regionally, and globally and opens up a lifetime of opportunities. Golden Key members typically do not only thrive academically, but as importantly, demonstrate leadership and have a strong sense of community. Suleiman has always displayed a keen sense of community. At FITS, he works in the computer labs, creating tutorial videos on how users can access and use the FITS high performance computing cluster. Suleiman also continues to tutor high school learners as part of a VITS initiative called the Talent Targeting Programmers. Suleiman was the recipient of Greenside's White Honours Blazer as he excelled in sport, culture and academics. Stereotyping would lead us to believe that your scientific boffins could not execute one successful dance move. Well, Suleiman discredits this notion entirely. Suleiman is a magnificent professional dancer, a South African Latin and ballroom champion, and a member of the hip hop crew Freeze Frame, which qualified to represent South Africa in the hip hop international competition held in the USA. Suleiman, you remain an inspiration to us all. Thank you for joining us tonight as our guest speaker. Good evening, beautiful people, <laughs> and welcome to you all. Parents and guardians, you are here because of the sacrifices, blood, sweat, and tears that you have poured into these amazing children of yours. And you are the reason that they have made it this far. One day, they will certainly be extremely grateful for all that you have done for them. You guys are beautiful. Teachers and administrators of staff, where would we be if not for you guys? As Shakespeare puts it, you are the star to every wandering bard, whose worth unknown, though his height be taken. Trust me, you are the guiding stone to these students. And though many students have made your life a little difficult, you can be rest assured that the future of anything, anywhere, rests on people like you guys. You guys are truly amazing and beautiful. And last, but most definitely not least, the students, the stars of this evening. You've come so far. Think about it. 12 years. Making the assumption that you've been in class for about nine months of the year. You guys have been in class for 108 months. That's about 3,290 days. Making it 23,058 hours. That's 1,383,480 minutes. Do you know how many seconds that is? <laughs> that is 83,008,800 seconds. Minus, of course, bunking class, being <laughs> conveniently sick on test days, and you know, being genuinely sick. But funnily enough, I bet it felt a lot longer for some of you guys. But if you really think about it, guys, your high school life is fleeting. For me, it was over in a flash, 
but not for the reason that many of you guys may be thinking. Sure, I was the head boy with all the accolades and all the players, and some of you guys in my high school life may have seen can be good. But it's often impossible, it's often difficult, if not impossible, to see what's going on inside of someone else's mind. Let me rewind to when I received my white blazer. When I was on stage having the white blazer placed on my shoulders in front of the school, I felt empty. Yet there were tears in my eyes and there was dirt on my knees from kneeling in a false emotional outburst. It was not genuine. I acted in a way that I thought the school wanted to see me. Fitting. I was awarded my white blazer upon receiving full colors for drama. And the reason that I felt empty was because I did not take the time to appreciate the journey. I never took a moment to appreciate the jokes that were shared at the starting line of a cross country race. I never took a moment to share, to enjoy the constant laughter with my friends. And I did not take a moment to appreciate the sheer talent and raw emotion in her voice as she sang her heart out on the stage. These were people. These were moments. These were the things that make any journey worthwhile. And my biggest mistake was not appreciating them. What I'm trying to say is, as difficult as it may be for you guys in this position right now, try to appreciate the moments that you have. So many things happen to us in life beautiful things that simply pass us by, but we often take them for granted. It's not always where you end up, but how you get there that makes the journey so much sweeter. Your high school journey is almost over, but there's still so much to experience. Each and every one of you guys is special and beautiful. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Each and every one of you. Yes, sometimes you may feel like nothing, and sometimes you may feel like everything that you do is for naught. Trust me, if any of you guys can't relate to what I'm saying right now, you can count yourself extremely lucky. You have a gift, if not many, that you have been brought into this world to, to use. So use it, grow it, nurture it. Each and every one of you have something special to bring. You've just spent 12 years of your life being taught how to be like everyone else. Now it's your time to show the world who you are. Don't be afraid to let your light shine. It's a light that only you know how to shine. The world will judge you. The world will criticize you. But rather be judged on who you are, living a life that you choose, than live a life trying to please those around you. And lastly, don't ever forget that you guys are beautiful. Thank you. You lie. <laughs> that moment when you received your wine blazer is etched in the memories of many of us. And you did feel it. You can't fake. Not even you. <laughs> Not even you can fake it that well. Suleiman is is a story that comes from Greenside, didn't start here. And he has, in his five years here, and continuously now, and we're gonna have him for another five, because we're starting in grade eight again, which is great stuff. He infuses people. He makes us understand what is real and important. And he did it here when he was our head boy. And he's doing it there in the world now. And seeing him appreciating the journey, I by chance saw him in the dancing studio a couple of months ago. And every second comes. And I hope that that is what you take with you. Because this second that counts now, you can't get it back. Okay. So
Suleiman, thank you so much. And I believed in that. Good evening, Mrs. White, teachers, parents, and most importantly, our matric class of 2017. The Valedictory Assembly marks an important milestone in the school calendar, and it provides us with an opportunity to recognize our matric learners as you gather your breath for the final hurdle that lies ahead. Our SGB chair made reference last year to this ceremony being a celebration, and it's worth repeating that this year it truly should, see, should be seen as a celebration. It is the culmination of your work effort, the highlighting of your dedication, as well as the recognition of your contribution to the various activities of the school. As parents, we embarked on this journey together five years ago and delivered our children into the care of the educators and the staff of Greenside High School. <coughs> Excuse me. The paths that our children chose may have been different, but the journey has brought us all to this point where the final exam looms large in everyone's mind. Matrix, while you might not have realized it over the last five years, every interaction with your peers, every course correction and guidance from your educators, every triumph or disaster over the last five years has molded and shaped you. You have been equipped and prepared to take on the world by a phenomenal teaching body, a dedicated and involved administration, a superlative management team, as well as a team of facility staff that have provided you with an environment conducive for learning. When you look back, maybe when you receive that invitation for your 10-year reunion, you will remember the ethos and the culture of the school where every individual was prized and offered the opportunity to grow and excel. It may not seem like that is really important now, but when you continue your adventure outside of Greenside High School, I can guarantee you not everyone you will meet outside of these walls shares that thinking. So Matrix, as your parents have no doubt Dare I say it, be nagging. Put your head down, put in the work effort, and study. Practice, rinse, repeat. If in doubt, do it again. The certificate you receive at the end of this journey is your key to open doors for the next phase of your life. Do not find a door that is locked for a silly three or five percent. Aim for a hundred and grudgingly accept a 95. There is a saying that it takes a village to raise a child, and at Greenside it is no different. Our matrix have had several great heads during their tenure, but can we take a moment to please recognize Mrs. Van Nickak and Mr. Skuman for their dedication and commitment to our matrix students. Thank you for taking up the leadership role and bringing our matrix to their final hurdle. Please could you accept a small token of appreciation from the parents of your matric class of 2017. Thank you, Mr. De Vries and the entire SGB. Um, you always honor us. At, it's also time for us to honor you as well. Thank you for the big job that you do for the school as well. I would like to call on our head boy and head girl, Keen Governor and Kim Forbay, to do their farewell address now. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Boa, for that. <laughs> it was the best of times. It was the worst of times. It was the age of wisdom. 
It was the age of foolishness. It was the epoch of belief. It was the epoch of incredulity. It was the season of light. It was the season of darkness. It was the spring of hope. It was the winter of despair. Our teachers, members of the SGB, our parents, and fellow matriculants, good evening. I suppose this enigma taken from Charles Dickens' famous A Tale of Two Cities aptly captures the emotions we experienced, especially now as we are nearing the end of our school year. Most of us were struck by the reality that we finally made it through the five years we never thought would end. We made it through the dress codes, the shagawaka, the late night cramming, the endless extracurricular activities, and so much more that made our high school experience unique. We persevered through the classes where we've learned material we might never use again. As well as the early morning and holiday classes we never wanted to wake up for. We made it through the hallway drama, as well as the heartbreaks that made us not want to walk the corridors again. Our grade eight and nine years were characterized by awkwardness. We were excited about entering high school and had to be contended with our oversized blazers and bulky school bags. Our pimply faces, squeaky voices, and hormone-riddled bodies magnified our uncomfortableness about ourselves. We captured our clumsiness in dramatic selfies, where pouty lips, peace signs, and exaggerated poses expressed our self-assurance. And yet, as we stood at the edge of our grade seven year, we were still unsure of our social status at our new school. Grade 10 was indeed our epoch of belief and disbelief. We exerted confidence in the subjects we had chosen the year before. We took on more challenges and extramurals and somehow tried to find the balance between our lives behind the bench, on stage, on the field, and at home. The three R's changed from reading, writing, and arithmetic to being rebellious, feeling self-righteous, and knowing our rights. However, we soon realized that our ultimate responsibility was to revere our parents, respect our teachers, and recognize our individuality while serving our community. A dark season greeted us in grade 11 and 12, when we had to pause in moments of silence to sadly say goodbye to our beloved Palesa and loving Tyler. Their lives and times at Queenside are honored in our garden of remembrance, a constant reminder of the beautiful footprints they left in our hearts and the precious moments we shared. As we reminisce on our own life and times at Greenside, we do realize that these moments are almost gone, and I'm certain we are so eager to leave the place where everyone knows who we are. Soon we will walk out of Greenside's hallways for the last time. We will empty our bookshelves, return our books, and say goodbye. As the days become numbered, we might look forward to our independence and our life at a tertiary institution. While we excitedly await our somewhat uncertain future, let's remember what we're leaving behind. Let's remember the friendships we've made, which we will continue to rekindle or perhaps meet up some 10 years later at a reunion. Let's ponder on the moments where our laughter filled this very hall. Our smiles welcomed newcomers to our Greenside community and where our legacies were etched on certificates, trophies, and these very walls. Let's not forget the cornerstones that shaped our lives and inspired us to be and do our best. These cornerstones were often the unsung heroes of our society. Our teachers, who continue to lay the foundation of our learning. As we reflect on our life and times at Greenside, I hope the following will be our spring of hope. Mr. Bower's operatic singing, Ms. Hicks's remixes for learning drama theory, 
Miss Unterschlag's contagious energy and passion. Miss Falls' reverberations in the corridors. Miss White's consistent grace and elegance. Miss Mayette's selfless support. Miss Brummer's Melifis. <laughs> Dale's constant shade. <laughs> and Miss Van Bake's loving nature. I wish to thank every teacher who touched our lives in one way or the other. I am sure we all have had those moments with you that inspired hope. Thank you for teaching us that our contribution to the world and the fulfillment of our own happiness is not necessarily dependent upon discovering a better method or technique of learning, not dependent upon reading the right book or striking the right pose, but upon really seeing and deeply appreciating ourselves and the world as they are right now. I'm also thankful for the selfless support we received from the non-teaching staff who ensured an enabling and safe environment in which we could learn. To both teaching and non-teaching staff, Thank you for living the Greenside values of honor, modesty, and wisdom. I know these memories will be constant, a constant beacon that lights our path to success, no matter how we define it. To our beloved parents, yes, there might have been winters filled with despair, but your constant support, unconditional love, and never-ending emotional bank covered our every step. Thank you for not giving in and not giving up on us. So fellow matriculants, or rugrats, as you prepare for your firsts, you are also approaching your lasts. When you're ready to go, do take a moment to realize what you are leaving behind, as you will not get these moments back. And as we remember our last dance, test, lunch, game, assembly, or even selfie, allow me to commit to this old Irish prayer over your life. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind always be at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and the rain fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. Thank you. for this interruption. <laughs> Announcements for today. The undefeated champion, Miss P, is challenging anyone to beat her in a general knowledge quiz. Sabelo, Jared, Voawa and the team are still traumatizing opponents on the field. We have the jazz and classic enthusiasts rolling in, Samela, and Greenside's neighbors are still complaining about the noise. Mostly for Lisa, but shh, <laughs> don't say anything. We have the cool kids and the bizarre hairstyles. And finally, RF is yet in another detention. <laughs> Smiling and waving as he enters the detention van. Just another day in Greenside, don't you think? Good evening, Miss White. Great heads, teachers, parents, and my fellow grade twelves. I know what you're thinking. Far from perfect. Very far. But it's that very fact that encourages our development. Even from the first day I walked into the school, nervous and worried to say the least, I turned my head and I looked outside the hall to find a group of individuals. All very small with huge aims. Bouncing around, instantly wanting to communicate and intervene. And I couldn't help myself but saying, wow, that's my grade. We've come a long way from then, but even today I see the same thing. A group of individuals from different backgrounds, religions and ideals, all under the same roof, all striving for different goals in the same way. And the teachers, being the catalyst for our self-defined success, bear witness to our first steps toward our dreams. I know that in a few weeks' time, Greenside will be moving on to the next group, then the next, and the next. 
Greenswood High continues to take on students one at a time, fortifying their spirit, mental stability, and cultivating a boundless but realistic passion in every student, changing the world one student at a time. But the one aspect that I admire the most about the teachers and coaches of Greenside High was that every single unique teacher taught with a character, portraying themselves in the process of sharing their knowledge, portraying their values and ideals through what they taught and how they taught it. Whether it was through unique classroom vocabulary and trademark phrases, for example, and I quote, you want that? What were you thinking? Melifi? Do you want to be an irregularity? <laughs> you're, not, you're my favorite class of all time, so please just keep quiet. <laughs> Chickens? It's simpler than it looks. This seems to be a very common one. I really dislike the government. I really do, I just wish to get dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Amongst the numerous phrases and gestures, the nature of the content was vastly fun and tremendously useful. Like how Ms. Hollenberg's maths lessons were hardly ever just mathematics, but also included some life orientation tips along the way. Or how Ms. Erasmus's physics lessons also featured psychology therapy sessions for biological inquiries. <laughs> how Ms. Slater's English lessons gradually turned into philosophy lectures, and how the early minutes of Mr. Saraday's classes felt like a do you want to be a millionaire quiz show. <laughs> I could really go on. It was all a reminder of how genuine they all are. It was those gestures and phrases that made every lesson comfortable and feel more like Greenside High, more like home. I want to thank you all for maintaining an amazing level of professionalism and a high standard of education, allowing us, even if we were stubborn about it, to become stronger, faster, and smarter. You gave us knowledge, an irreplaceable gift, one that we can call our own, one that we can use, shape, and develop to get to the top. Instead of our dreams being a mile too far, you made them an arm's length away. So here we are, grade 12. More than once as a grade, we hit speed bumps, suffered losses, and arrived at disappointing ends. But with the help of two exceptional life orientation teachers, our grade heads, who loved and guided us from the start, pro providing precious and reliable tips that accompanied their daily inspiration as our mom and dad at school together with having each other to hold on to during every moment. Embracing every tear and cheer together meant that reaching where we needed to go wasn't a blinded and doubtful hope, but an inevitability. I'll let you in on all the secret. There are many things that I've learned from you in the time that we spent together. From Vuiswa's bold and assertive voice, to Kayla's soft and gentle approach. Dylan's class, Shanyan's opportunistic nature, and solid logic. From Donay's persistence and determination to Jared's robust heart, and Tarek's charisma. From Katie's magnificent attitude, and Moses' guitar, supreme guitar skills, to Reese's and Shrape's cool and calm nature. Every one of you have bloomed in your own way, and each and every one of you have made me stronger in one way or another. But the one thing I love most about you is that you're all fighting for something. Whether it is to support yourself, your family, or impacting others by changing the world for the better. Yes, I, I'm well aware that high school forms a very small part of our journey. However, I know that you'll all agree when I say it's a few years we'll never forget. Years of experiences from felt school's hikes, constant coffee runs and late nights, to cultural days, an exhilarating matric dance, and exciting award ceremonies. From those adrenaline rushes on the field or on stage, 
to simply enjoying the afternoon with your friends. It is those memories that we will cherish as we walk into this very hall to write our final exams in a few days, when we say goodbye to the place we have called home for five more years. In this final frontier, the final push to the end of something beautiful and the beginning of something great, I urge you to visualize your goal. I urge you not to forget who you are and what you're trying to achieve. I want you to think of how far you've come when you're backed into that corner, when stress and panic knock on your door and the room seems a bit smaller. Think about what you stand for and where you want to go. Only then will you realize that there is no corner, that worry and panic threaten those who are unsure of themselves, not you. And that the room, with this infinite number of open doors and opportunities, is much bigger than you can ever imagine. I was in Ms. Creer's class yesterday, enjoying the few, last few moments of a subject that I de de developed a huge respect for, Afrikaans, when Ms. Creer shared a beautiful message with our class, one that encompasses my life and what I stand for. The message said that it's okay to aim high in this. The problem is when you aim low and hit. Why settle for bare minimum when you can aim for that 70, 80, 90, or 100? And if you miss, you'll end up higher than if you hit your target when you were aiming low. Give yourself that advantage. You deserve that much. I want to thank you all. Whether I've only spent a few seconds with you or my whole high school life, you've all added to the chapter in my story. A chapter that will support and enhance many more chapters that are yet to be written in my life and your life. I wish you all good skill in your upcoming exams. And when you do get that beautiful NCS certificate, when you're running your own business, work, working or graduating to a profession one day, remember that fortune favors the bold. So walk into this hall and show everyone who you really are. It's been an amazing, beautiful ride. Great twelves, great heads, and teachers. Thank you, everyone. Right, we're going to move on to our sports awards now. Could I please ask Ms. White and Mr. Channon to assist? Our first trophy is the Ted Penrose Trophy for Sportsman of the Year goes to a young gentleman who has excelled at rugby and particular touch rugby. He was awarded senior half colors for rugby, senior full colors for touch rugby, and he was also captain of the touch rugby team and represented Gauteng on a provincial level. Congratulations to Ndukoza Simila. for Sports Women of the Year is awarded to a young lady who has shown exceptional skill and passion in squash at Greenside. She has been valued member of the squash team. She was awarded full colors this year, captain, captain the team, and was the number one under 19 player of the league. This year, the award goes to Nolita Mosheshu. So a unique award for outstanding sportsmanship is the Sochem Award. This award is created by hand and personalized by Dr. Jeff Sochem and donated every year by the family. Due to the special nature of this award, a full history of the award is included in the program. This year the award is given to Dario Drakatos.
Dodo is always willing to go above and beyond. His kindness and selflessness have been obvious from the day he's arrived at Greenside High. Dario has assisted the school in times of need, in many events. He's truly an honest young man, and it is our absolute pleasure to award him with the Sokhum Award. The Dean Fisser Trophy, donated by James Small, ex-learner of Greenside High School, is for sporting excellence. This year, the trophy is awarded to two individuals who have represented their province on numerous occasions for rugby and cricket. And our most ac accomplished sportsman, well done to Sabelo Mweza, who played for the Lions development team, and Denae Newman, who represented our team. Oliver Trophy for extraordinary contribution to sport goes to Jared DeFries. <laughs> for his outstanding contribution to rugby, he has represented Greenside faithfully and excellently for many years and has added immense, immensely to the sporting life of Greenside. Well done, my boy. was donated to the school by the Prince Lou family. The three Prince Lou girls, Natalie, Chantal and Dominique, all excelled at Greenside. Not just academically, but in their service to the school in many capacities. When Dominique, the last Prince Lou daughter to matriculate, left the school, the trophy was donated. This award goes to the student who accumulated the highest number of conduct uh, points in 2017. This year, the award goes to and to Kozo Similani. <laughs> and the reason for this is because he accumulated a whopping 390 points. Congratulations. <laughs> Terry Ostrobiak Trophy for Outstanding Human Relations is awarded to a learner who not only enjoys the friendship and admiration of his peers, but who has also earned the respect of the staff body. The award goes to Brandon Batini. <laughs> His passion for the school is obvious. Sorry, and I need to turn the page. <laughs> and he has made a remarkable impact in every single aspect of school life, be it academic, sporting, or cultural. Well done to Keen Governor. <laughs> This year, the award goes to Kim Forbay and Abigail Christmas.
possesses a fun-loving, joyful and enthusiastic person with a zest for life and inspiring life in others. The fact that the winner of this award is voted for by the entire metric group speaks volumes about the character of this recipient. <laughs> Sorry, let me try again. Recipient. Congratulations to Keen Gavinder. trophy to you. This award was instituted in 2013 in memory of ex-Greensider Tharshan Naika, who matriculated in 2008. He was tragically killed in a road accident in January 2013. The trophy is in the shape of a candle because in 1984 Greensider established a tradition at the grade 8 induction ceremony when each grade 8 learner lights a candle to symbolize his spirit and that of Greenside. We all feel there are times when our light goes out, but know that we can relight our spirits with the help of others. The Tharshan Naika trophy is given to a learner who selflessly and consistently helps others, who feel that the light has gone out of them by consoling comforting, inspiring, and reinvigorating them. The learner who received this award is recognized for the following qualities. A strong sense of loyalty to the school. A deep value of family and friends. Sensitivity to the needs of others and a willingness to sacrifice for them. Courtesy and consideration for everyone. It gives me great pleasure to give this award to Megan Geldart. Prior to moving to our academic awards, our last two trophies are the Pro Merito trophies which are awarded each year to an outstanding young gentleman and young lady. This year, they are awarded to our head boy and head girl, Keen Governor and Kim Corbin. So we would be, we were going to be moving on to our subject awards now. And the, these awards are given to learners who have attained the highest mark in the various subjects. Can the HEDs please join Ms. White up on stage when the subject is called? First up, computer application technology. And the trophy is awarded to Mohammed Sheikh with 82%. Would Jarvis Luma please join Ms. White on stage? Jarvis matriculated from Greenside High in 2009 with 10 distinctions. He was the first IT learner at the school achieve, who achieved 90% for the subject. He obtained 98% for IT at the end of the year. This trophy goes no, none other than Reese Peters with 89 <laughs> Reese, could you please 
stay on stage. Right, the trophy for the top achiever in engineering, graphics and design is named the Mike Pycroft Trophy. In honor of Mr. Mike Pycroft, who was a chairman of our school governing body and fulfilled his portfolio in a manner so selfless and distinctive that virtually not a day goes by without his strength, presence and wisdom being sorely missed. Mr. Pycroft was also instrumental in establishing the school's electrical technology center, which has also been named after him. Mr. Pycroft passed away in 2010, unfortunately. His two children, Lara and Jonathan, are past learners of Greenside. Can Ms. Pycroft please join Ms. White on stage? This trophy goes to Reese as well, where he achieved 88% for engineering graphics and design. We now move on to account to the accounting ward. With the following learners, please come up to the stage. Nathan Asu, Boye Nabi, Tutin Harris, and Azra, Azra Bank. must be made of Nathan Asu, who achieved a brilliant 99% in his prelim exam. Well done, mate. Wayed Nabi has worked constantly hard and made a committed effort to maintain a distinction throughout the year. In the prelim, he secured an outstanding 93%. Congratulations on a brilliant result. Hewton also worked diligently to maintain his brilliant result in accounting. He obtained an excellent 91% in his premium exam. Azra Bam has made a commit commendable effort to strengthen the quality of her effort or her results. Her dedication and hard work has paid off. She has secured a brilliant 91% in her prelim exam. It is most unfortunate that Aisha Davids, one of our top academics, who is receiving many awards tonight, is unable to be here because of a family emergency. Aisha's sister, Zara, is currently hospitalized and it is her family's priority to be with her. We hold Zara and the David's family in our prayers. Had Aisha been able to attend, she would have received the following awards. Alison, your trophy for accounting, where she received 98%. Daniel Blanchard Trophy for English, where she received 91%. The Raymond Gavin Klotz Trophy for Mathematics, with 99%. The Life Science Trophy, with 93%. And the Teresa Yelof Afrikaans Non Mother Tongue Trophy for Afrikaans with 91%. Could I please call on Ms. Erasmus, Nathan Asu, and Reese Peters, please? This year, there have been few learners who have a excelled at physical science, and their hard work must be recognized. There can only be one top achiever, but 
for others also exceptional. Nathan Osu got 93% for his prelim exam, an incredible achievement and third in the grade. <laughs> Reese Peters achieved 92% for his prelim exam, 91% overall and second in the grade. And Aisha Davids received 93% for a prelim exam, 97% for the physical, phys physics paper, and 94% overall. Fantastic achievements so far. Thank you, boys. As you probably remember, Torek matriculated last year with an extraordinary 10 distinctions. He achieved 97% in his final physical science exam and has very kindly donated a trophy in his name. This year, the trophy is awarded to Aisha David. Tariq, in Aisha's absence, would you please hand over the trophy to Mrs. Erasmus? We, now, we are now moving on to the Life Science Trophy. With the following learners, please come to the stage. King Governor, Wasila, Asim, Abdul, Sharp, Rahman, and Nathan Hasu. <clears throat> Special mention must be made to these learners. Well done, guys. Mr. Bird, please come up to stage. Our top Afrikaans mother tongue trophy goes to Kim Forbe. He received 87% for Mr. Amy. Our next award is the Cresta Jewelers Trophy for Isi Zulu. This award goes to Busi Miskiski with 90% for this award. <laughs> we now move on to the Mohammed Arif Trophy for electro electrical technology. And this trophy is awarded to Ahmed Khan with 74%. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it gives me great pleasure to speak to you tonight. It's a very unusual request that I ask to come and speak tonight because I don't know how you do this. But it's been a very unique year. It continues to be a very unique year, especially with regards to mathematics. As you heard, Aisha Davids did overall win with 99%, which is phenomenal. So in the absence, why don't we clap again? <laughs> I thought you should all know we actually refer to, uh, my colleagues and I, we refer to Aisha as the member, because she's the member. <laughs> but um, why I um, requested to come and speak tonight, there are three other students that have done so well, and not just this year, since grade eight. In fact, the three students, I'm gonna call them to stage now, and Aisha have been neck and neck until literally a month or two ago. So I'd like to call up in alphabetical order, Keen um, Governor, Nathan Sue, and Reese Peters. specific certificates for them. If they could just stand in the line here. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, on your far left-hand side, we have the ever so suave and super cool and intelligent Reese Peters. In the middle,
we have the adorable and clever Nathan Sweet, <laughs> who I have affectionately called for the last two years Double O Sue, because he reminds me of James Bond. <laughs> and then on your left here we have, will be your right, sorry, we have Keen Governor, our amazing head boy, who speaks so well. But not only that, he has such an aptitude for maths and such a passion, it's actually almost scary. <laughs> These three boys have come a joint second place with 95%. Um, Mr. Photographer, I was gonna ask you to hold your gun for a second because I was thinking, I think it really sucks to do so well but not get that trophy. And that is why I went out and bought them a trophy. It, it might be small, but you can take it home. Our next trophy is the Claudine Grinker Trophy for Mathematical Literacy. This year, it goes to Christopher Spalding with 87%. Carol Fritz Trophy for Consumer Studies, and this is awarded to Nikita McCabe with 78%. Yeah. Our next trophy is the Susan Craig Trophy for Geography, and this is awarded to Raiz Randari with 88%. Our next award is the Chenille Suka Trophy for AP Maths. And this is awarded to Nathan Asu with 95%. Skin Trophy for Visual Arts, and this is awarded to Matthew Woodler with 88%. Next trophy has been named in honor of Miss Maria van Niekerk because of her inspiring leadership in life orientation. After many years of teaching, she, she was given the challenge, challenging task of ensuring that life orientation was and is a relevant subject in the school's curriculum. From 2007, as HRD, she was able to motivate the members of her department to present life orientation as a multi-faced subject, which had much to offer the learners in terms of emotion, emotional, intellectual, and physical growth. Her commitment has ensured that Greenside High has an invaluable reputation for meaningful facilitation of the subject of life orientation. This award is awarded to Wasila Hassan with 93%. David's trophy for dramatic arts. The winner of this trophy is 
Happy Gold Christmas with 93%. Mrs. Natris had three children who were matriculated from Greenside. Mrs. Natris is a keen historian who has contributed to numerous history textbooks. The Gail Natris Trophy for History. And the winner is Iman Rafi with 84%. Advanced Program English was started at Greenside High by Ms. Brighton and Ms. White in 2012. In 2013, our first group of grade 12 learners wrote the external IEB exam. Ms. White and Mr. Duprio would like to congratulate our three grade 12 AP stalwarts for preserving with high challenging course that has been linked or, or sorry likened to English at the university level. Just, okay, Mr. Dupree, you're there. Just check. <laughs> Wasila Hassan, Iman Rafi, and Ria Vera Hicks. <laughs> we are proud of your effort and wish you stamina and success in the final IEB exam written on the 17th of October. This year, the recipient of the award for, for the top student in AP English goes to Ria Vera Hicks, an avid reader whose work demonstrates a strong person, personal voice and sophistication, where she received 90% in her prelim exams. Well done, my daughter. <laughs> The following award is presented to the grade 12 learner who has improved their cumulative average by the highest margin over the year. This year, the Mervyn Pentrarts Trophy for the most improved matric scholar with an improvement of 10% goes to Tana Kister. system whereby learners who participate enthusiastically in the life of the school are recognized with a service to the school award. Full colors for service to the school is awarded to learners who achieve 350 or more merits for three consecutive years. Congratulations to Keen Davinder and Ndokozo Similani. Service honours are awarded to learners who have achieved 350 or more merits in all five years at Greenside. Congratulations to Keen Governor. <laughs> Merit certificates are awarded to learners who have achieved an academic average of between 70 and 74% for the year. Merit certificates are awarded to Sean Fletcher with 73%, Humeira Khan with 72%, Paratsa Mabonga with 71%, and Pamela Magakula with 70%. And that is Tatu Hatsi Makele, 71%. Nayo Morisoni, 71%. Matthew Moody. 
Biblia with 72%. Joshua Peterson with 71%. Also the following learners, Iman Rafi with 73%, Dylan Sharp with 74%, Christopher Spaulding with 73%, Paige Stain with 70%, and Katisu Chatsetsi with 71%. Certificates are awarded to learners who have achieved an academic average of 75% and above for the year. A scholarship certificate is awarded to Shahid Abdul Rahiman with 77%, Francesca Mbele with 76%, Nikita McCabe with 76%, and Mohammed Sheikh with 75%. scholarship awards. Well done to Raiz Randri with 81%. Well done Raiz. Academic full colours are awarded to learners who have achieved three years of scholarship awards. Well done to Asra Bam with 75% and Ria Betswe Mokopudi with 75%. to learners who achieve four years of scholarship awards. Well done to Wasila Hassan with 84% and Musisiwe Musikisi with 77%. prestigious awards within the academic field at Greenside. This is awarded to those learners who have achieved scholarship for five consecutive years. This year we are proud to award academic honours to seven learners. Congratulations to, in our absence, Aisha Davids, Kim Forbay, Keen Gavinder, Kewton Harris, Ria Bira Hicks, Nathan Asu, and Reese Peters. We are looking forward to getting great results at the end of the year from these learners. Parents were employed by the Pominskis. 
And Ms. Nyobe was six months old when the Pamensky grandchildren finished at Greenside. It is because of this connection that Ms. Nyobe decided to send her own daughter, Lindiwe Maponda, to Greenside. Lindiwe achieved eight distinctions at the end of last year. Scholar of the Year is Rhys Peters. He achieved an aggregate of 90% for this year. Minsky Trophy for the Scholar of the Year goes to Aisha David with an aggregate of 94%. From when I first started with you guys and giving you three minutes to get to the quad for assembly, to you guys singing and flooding my classroom with balloons on my birthday. We have definitely had our fun with Fout School, senior leader camp where Jared and Danae spear tackled me into the pool. To matric dance, where all my little girls turned into beautiful women. And my boys turned into men. I know I have not always been with you guys since day one at Greenside, but I feel we've all come together as one big family. We have our outgoing kids, our quiet kids, our unique kids, but when we need each other, we forget about all our differences and support each other, like we did with Ty, Tyler and Palesa. I have high hopes and dreams for every single one of you, Matrix. All I will ever ask of you is that you guys never, ever, and I mean never, ever, give up on your dreams and keep pushing the limits and improving yourselves. That is the key to make a success of your life. Good luck in the last stretch. I'm sure all of you will do well if you put in the work for it. Goodbye, Matrix. I will surely miss you. Before I say my last farewell, I would like to thank Mr. Skuman for all his hard work and dedication, especially standing by me through thick and thin. Jason, I really enjoyed working with you and will miss your partnership very much. I would also like to wish you well with your new challenges and know your challenge and that you will do very well because of your passion, not only for sport, but also for the learners. So all of the best. <laughs> Dear Matrix, I'm faced with the bittersweet ending of our time together. It is bitter to walk away from a group that has become close to my heart, but sweet to all the personal and academic growth that you've made in our four years together. Someone asked me recently if it ever becomes easier to say goodbye at the end of a group school career. Thanks to your smiles, enthusiasm, and character, I had to tell her that it does not. I want to specifically thank you for a few things that inspired me in our time together. First, thank you for being patient and open with me. The first year was difficult for all of us. You had to get used to new graduates with new standards, personalities, and people skills. And for a while, the battle was full on. 
But eventually we got to know each other and we became more comfortable. Your grade 10 year started off very well, but we unfortunately had to say goodbye to Miss B towards the middle of the year. This caused another ripple effect. But luckily for us, we were joined by Mr. Strauss and soon after that, Mr. Skuman. Grade 11 was our experimental year, where we tried out various things. You went along with it and offered very specific feedback about what worked and what didn't. We chose new senior leaders and at first we thought that everything was going to collapse. But like in the past, with the various obstacles thrown your way, you came out tops. I've always been worried about the fact that you as a group had to go through so many changes, but more importantly, you have proved to us that you are a strong, tenacious group who treat each other as family and has never stopped being a close-knit unit, no matter what. You helped me to see that you are capable of much more than I expected. You also helped me to realize what I need to learn as I can go be so I can get better with the next year's learners. I promise that I will take all that you have shared with me and bring your needs and voices into large conversations about education. Secondly, thank you for reminding me that it is important to take risks with you. As I watched you tackle your last year of school, I saw you become more determined and mature. I got to see your hearts, your thinking, and your care for the world around you. Most importantly though, I got to cry with you when you came to ask for help, when things in your personal lives did not always work out. Your struggle to stand up to challenges in your lives and your path in finding peace after the death of loved ones. You moved me all while exceeding my expectations for what high school students can do with time and space to promote the ideas about the ways the world can be better. Finally, thank you for showing me hope for our future. I'm reminded every year how important education is because I see your eyes full with wonder when you learn something new. I'm also filled with a desire to make sure that schools work better for various needs and learning styles. It breaks my heart when I see learners disengage. This year you pushed me to figure out new ways to engage learners in their learning. You have a voice that needs to be heard and it is essential that your education system does better on all learners' behalf. I will be spending more time on reading and thinking so that I can be better prepared for learners' needs. I will have each of your faces in mind as I advocate on all learners' behalf. I will continue to brag about wonder how wonderful you are and will look forward to hearing your stories of learning and exploration when hopefully some of you come and visit. I implore you, as always, to be safe and to make wise decisions. Read great books, explore your world, Get to know other stories and remember what we've learned this year. That kindness and open-mindedness can take us much further than prejudice and snap judgments. As someone has said before, be excellent to one another. And as you well know, you will find friends in places you've never expected. I love you all dearly and I will miss you all very, very much.
This year, we continue our tradition started many years ago at Greenside. When you arrived here just under five years ago, you participated in a ceremony which marked your entrance into the school. Therefore, we would like to have the same symbolism bestowed on you as you take the light of the candle as you leave the safety of Greenside High. As I call your names up, Matrix, please step onto stage, receive your candle, and Ms. Brother will place you. Shahid, Arif, Nazia, Iman, Hakim, Boyiswa, Rizwana, Azra, Tahir, Shaina, Shweb, Shinyo, Limbakani, Gracious, Janet, Carabello, Andris, Abigail, Solly, Eduardo, Lenica, Tylene, Tyreek, Aisha, Roderick, Jared, Adnan, Noxy, Dario, Mikhail, Umanashi, Shanyana, Sean, <coughs> Kim, Naila, Megan, Keen, Aisha, Nimai, Kutin, Wasila, Mohammed Hassan, Yusuf, Mohammed Atia, Rio Vieira, Caitlin, Kanisa, Shahira, Nathan, Fatima, Zidane, Mama Jada, Tariq, Ahmed, Kaylee, Zaid, Megan, Sanele, Ahmed, Faison, Umira, Uzair, Taskin, Mplumi, Kayla, Tana, Pavalo Mabaleo, Parazza, Zippo, Pamela, Tato Ate, Mini, Nikle, Pavalo Manase, Gugu, Zinkle, Pavalo Mashapa, Kamofelo, Babu, Lesejo, Linda, Francesco, I didn't forget your name, my boy, Nikita, Bussi, Mikhail, Shinaz, A.B., Ntabi Singh, Lesedi, Neo, Michael, Lerato, Tumelo, Na Lady, Ria Betwe, Kifilwe, Martin, Tabam, Jade, Helen, Matthew, Godfrey, Keenan, Tavo, Desfin, Leclochon Nolo, Brandon, Nolita, Ursi, Mrs. Kiski, Sabelo, 
Wahid, Verocean, Vignesh, Pretish, Victoria, Lungile, Donay, Insani, Siplamanva, Emma, Kimberly, Maureen, Ashley, Lusanda, Brucey, Moses, Miley, Moni, Divish, Raisa, Faima, Ajra, Reese, Tato, Joshua, Jamesha, Keisha, Courtney, Pumla, Iman, Rais, Katlejo, Prison, Shamik, Aiden, Zaybun, Lerato, Lebohan, Brian, Tsubojo, Letabo, Mohamed, Mozam, Dylan, Ntikozo, Leah, Josh, Nathan, Christopher, Tashi, Paige, Austin and Carissa, Vanessa, Rais, Njabulo, Katiso, <coughs> Stephen, Jose, Mayo, Megan, Cameron, Leclerc Angela, 